guys, welcome back to our channel. Hi guys. It is our second day of spring break. Not really anything exciting going on today. We just got to Annie's speech therapy, so we're gonna head in there. Mm. Um, we have a futon being delivered later, so after speech, we'll probably just head home and wait for that. And then tonight, I'm gonna go to a cycling class at the gym, so the kids all get to go and go and play like basketball, video games, and like hang out and stuff, so. Huh? So we have time to go to, you know, Elvis. We'll see. We got to see about our futon being delivered. We're going to try to plan that on a day with friends. They really want to go to this new trampoline park, um, but I'm trying to wait and go on a day where we can like have some friends meet us so they have like someone to play with. But anyways, it's been a while since we've done a vlog, so I thought we would get to it. I'll help you, babe, even though we don't really have anything exciting going on today. So we are going to head in now because her appointment is in like four minutes. We'll see. Yes, we are. Anyways, we're gonna head in now, so we will check back in shortly. All right, so we just got home from speech therapy and we missed the delivery, but they left it. So we have this futon we have to get inside. And then Chris does not teach tonight because it's spring break, so we can get it put together tonight, but I'm really excited. It's like a linen one. The style is super cute. And I went with a navy blue. This is for the loft, so we're gonna eventually paint the whole loft like a light gray. So I thought it'd be cute with a navy blue um futon they also had a really pretty mustard color and there was a great so, gray like a light gray a dark gray there were so many to choose from but i'm excited so we can sit in this while we play xbox yes and then like when you guys have sleepovers and stuff you guys can sleep on the futon you can kind of see the style of it like the picture it's just a drawing yes you may have a free snack so all right jackson and i are going to try to get this in the house try. right try all right wish us luck Hey guys, it is lunch time. So we are just making lunch really quick. I already ate my yogurt. Jackson wants nachos, so I'm just gonna throw these in the microwave really quick for him. And Cohen and Anderson both want homemade Lunchables. It's one of their favorites and she is helping me. She has a cutting board and she is slicing the cheese for their Lunchables. So, Jackson and I managed to get the futon inside. We'll set that up when Chris gets home tonight. Good job. Can you cut some meat now? You wanna show them how you cut the cheese all up? Look at that, guys. She did a really good job. Can okay, I put a piece of meat right here that you're gonna cut, okay? okay? We're just gonna use, she chose lunch meat today. I have salami, turkey, pepperoni, and she wanted this lunch meat to go on it. So, say hi. So this is just honey roasted turkey breast from Sam's Club. So that's what she's working on right now. Um, yeah, take one out of the container. So that's all we're gonna be doing today. Um, I have yeah, I have a cycling class I'm going to at 5.30, so we're just gonna hang out. I have laundry going, the dishwasher's running. Try to just get some things done around the house before then, just regular cleaning and chores. Um, we might go early to the gym and stop by my parents. I haven't decided. It kind of depends on what I get done. It's only noon right now, so I have a lot I would like to do. Here's Jackson's nachos. If more than one kid wanted nachos, I would make them in the oven, but here you go, bud. Thank you. You're welcome. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of take it easy and relax. Um, it's been kind of sprinkling off and on today. Thank you. So it's the perfect day to get things done inside. And Anison, you did so good at speech today, huh? Mm -hmm. Miss Shana said you did really good. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you. Are you concentrating? Mm -hmm. So, all right, I'm gonna let her show you guys how she puts together her little Lunchable. So here's the crackers. My mom is in a play, even a napkin. We got some leftover LOL doll napkins from her birthday. Yeah, a long time ago. I'm gonna kind of aim this down so you guys can see what she's doing. Good job. Okay, now I want my tablet. Yeah, you can have that piece. Mm. Mm -mm. I usually give her six of them to start out with, and then do you want to build them and put the meat and cheese on them? Mm -hmm. And then we'll have Cone come down. This is one of her favorite lunches. She had this yesterday at my parents' house as well. And then I have some red grapes, if you guys want any grapes. There's some baby carrots in there. Um, we have apples. 
I want Yeah, you two. did just have a banana. Bananas, I want blueberries, blackberries. I want tail, carrots, and... You want carrots and hummus? Mm hmm You want to dip them in hummus? Cheetos. That's weird. No, it's really good, actually. I really like chips and hummus. Chips and hummus is amazing. It is, but carrots and hummus is healthier. Mom? What? Can I have some dressers to dip it in? Yeah, hold on. Let's oh, do... don't mind if I do it. <laughs> oh, don't mind if I do it. <laughs> Okay, you can leave this cheese and I'll put it on Cohen's, okay? Um, um Annie. Um. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so I got her these. She loves hummus. Oh, look at that, you guys. She made her own lunch. She cut everything herself. Mom, can I dip crackers in that yeah. hummus? You can dip crackers. You can dip. Um, the only yeah. reason I didn't make my lunch, I was playing games. Yeah. Oh, baby oh. Kelly. Baby carrots. So I got these at Sam's for her. They're the perfect little size. There is 16 cups of hummus, okay, and they're really I'm healthy. So on my plate. one single serving cup is 180 calories. Two tablespoons. Hmm. Okay, so two tablespoons or one single serving cup. So here is the perfect little size for her. She can take it to school or have it like with lunch today. So this is for all the haters on TikTok that say. You don't give them vegetables? She's having baby carrots and hummus with her homemade Lunchable, so. And bananas are vegetables too. Yeah. And with crackers. And with crackers. All right, put them in here for a second. All right, guys, I'm gonna get her situated at the island and call Cohen down for his lunch, but we will check back in shortly. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey. So we're done with lunch. I got my laundry switched and another load started and we are going to, she opened this herself, but we're gonna bake. She wants to make a tree in her easy bake oven. How many of you had one of these when you were a kid? I had one and I loved it. So my parents got her one for Christmas and she's made brownies before in it, I think was the other thing. So brownie today, cookies. brownie cookies, Jax? Yeah. Okay, brownie cookies is what they made. So and today we're gonna make red velvet and strawberry cake. Like and it's I like a layered push thing. this into my Easy baked oven. Mm -hmm. Which is over there. It's been preheating. You can kind of see it over there on the counter. So, okay, put it down. So we're gonna follow the direction. So we've already preheated it for 20 minutes. So now it says you have to make the red velvet cake batter. So pour one red velvet cake mix and four teaspoons of water into a bowl. Okay, so, oh, that's the strawberry. So this is the red velvet. You're gonna pour it into this bowl. Yeah. We're gonna kind of scoot you guys back and aim it down a little bit so you can kind of see what she's doing. Okay, we only need one bowl right now. The other bowl we'll use for the next one, okay? okay. So, make sure that you pour oh, this whole thing, each one of them, it's kind of nice. They're all labeled with what it is. Mm -hmm. So the red velvet cake mix, you're gonna dump that all wow. into the bowl. All into the bowl. Thank you. Hey, Jax. Yeah. Please don't get her wound up while we're doing this, okay? Is this next? Not yet. So now we need four teaspoons of water. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put water in here and then let her... Um, I don't pour it. Measure it out. Okay. Am I don't pour it? Yep. So here's one. Two. Three. Is Cohen here? Cohen's upstairs. Four. Okay. Hold on. It says to break up any lumps and stir until smooth. I'm going to have you start with a fork so we can break up the lumps, okay? Mom, it turned into red. Yeah. Okay, stir it all up. Break up any lumps. So now while she's doing that, I'm going to lightly spray the baking pan with cooking spray. So just this teeny tiny little pan. I'm going to spray it over the sink so I don't get it everywhere. That's a really tiny pan. Yeah. Oh, what is cooking spray do? Keeps things from sticking. And then after we are done, we go and slay it. Even that is at once. Mm, that looks good, Annie. Oh, 
So it's mixed up. Nope. So now it says you're gonna spoon the batter into the baking sheet, spread evenly. Tip, if the batter's too thick, add a few drops of water and stir. Mom, these are that's kind of thin. Yeah, well, we gotta go step by step, okay? Watch out, guys. So, it is be next. We're going to spoon this into the pan. Mm -hmm. Can I either. pour in? Well, this is kind of hard. I thought I had a spatula, but it's in the dishwasher, and the dishwasher is running. So we're going to just try to get all of this out and use a spoon. Two. Spoon. Good job. Speech therapy is working, huh? Mm -hmm. This I don't want to stain because it looks like it's staining my hand. It's been kind of a nice, relaxing, lazy day and getting stuff done I yeah. need to get done at Tomorrow, home. Yes, last night we were supposed to do it, but it was too dark. Well, Can I with the food? When it's time. Hold on. We're supposed to spread this out. Hold on, I'm going to add, since there's water right here. This is one thing I've noticed with this stuff. Can I jump in? It's kind of Mom. difficult. Mom, and it, one second, Mom, honey. Can I dump the water in? I'm just going to add a tiny bit of water to this so I can easily spread it with the spoon because it's sticking just the spoon everywhere and it says you to evenly spread it. So, hey, Jax, while I'm doing this, could you just not get her wound up? I'm almost done, bud. Thank you. There's Jackson. I'm going to throw this one more time. I'm going to water, but... I'm going to put it in because I got this from my okay. birthday. So that is like as even as I can get it. So now it says you are going to time to bake. Turn to the baking basics on the back page and follow instructions. Baking time 16 minutes. So All right, so we're going to put it into the baking slot. Come over here, Annie. Like so. Jax, Jackson. Yeah? No, we're almost done with this, bud. They got it out. Hold on. We're just gonna kind of use the end of this and you know, use it to push it into the easy bake. There you go. Hold on. And then, it says to bake it for 16 minutes. So we're gonna set our timer for 16 minutes. I'm going to wash out this bowl before it stains. You wanna lick that? Just don't get it on your shirt, please. Here, you can have this fork. And then we will come back with the next steps because this yeah. bakes for 16 minutes and we have to mix up the pink strawberry cake mix and then that bakes for 16 minutes. So there's several different little steps. This is the most complicated one we've tried so far. So I don't wanna drag this one. whole thing on. So we're just gonna come back and do it like step by step and show you guys so you don't have to sit here and watch us bake an easy bake cake for like 40 minutes <laughs> by the time we frost it and do all that fun stuff. So we will be back. Hey guys, so her food is in the easy bake oven right now and the kids are out jumping on the trampoline. I came up to fold some towels. I had a question I have been meaning to ask you moms and I totally keep forgetting. Do you guys have a laundry schedule or can you suggest a laundry schedule? I know obviously all moms feel like we're constantly doing laundry. Um, right now I don't really have a schedule. I just try to stay on top of it. So um, I'm folding these towels right now and then Cohen, I have a whole load of Cohen stuff in the washer. I still need to do Jackson and Annie's laundry. Chris and I, our hamper is empty. And I'm not, it doesn't have to be like our stuff and then each of the kids, their stuff in a separate load, but they all have so many clothes that usually their hampers are full. So they each have enough for their own like load of laundry. So do you guys have any kind of like laundry schedule you follow? Do you have certain days you do laundry? Like, or is it just kind of whenever like I do? Cause I feel like I have a harder time obviously keeping up on housework when it's like school break and all that stuff because we're just so busy and the kids are obviously here all day. And before I know it, my kids are gonna be out for summer break. So I'm kind of wanting to get into a cleaning and laundry routine before summer. So I thought these next couple months, it would give me time to get into the routine. That way by the time summer comes around, I can stick with it and make sure I'm following it. So do you guys have a laundry routine and do you have a cleaning routine? If so, please share it down below in the comments because 
I feel like I'm drowning. I know that laundry and housework is never ending, but lately I have not been able to like stay on top of it as much as I would like. So any tips are much appreciated, but I'm gonna put these towels away and check on her easy bake oven cake. Okay, she got both of her cakes baked, the red velvet and the strawberry. Smell the strawberry. Smells amazing. The red velvet's cooled, the strawberry is almost cooled. So we are going to mix up, hold on. We're gonna mix up our frosting. So there's two kinds of frosting. There's a pink one and a white one. What is this one and that one? Okay, leave those there. The yeah, leave it there for a second, okay? So. Press the red, press the pink those on, and then the red velvet, and then the, right there. There is powder. Okay, hold on. Yeah, there's powder on the counter. I have to wipe it up when we're all done. Oh, don't get it on your leggings, because we still have to go to the gym. Okay, let's get our water over there. So we can I tasted the frosting, the frosting and it tasted Well, wait till you get it all mixed up, okay? So each one needs... It's totally good. Okay, so which one's the vanilla? I guess I should have paid attention. I think this one's the vanilla. It's mm. the pink. Nope, that's the pink. Okay, so the vanilla frosting needs one and a half teaspoons and the other one needs one and a quarter. Don't yeah. bet. We'll just kind of... Okay, now stir that one and I'll stir the pink. I want to stir the pink. Here, we're going to have to probably add a little bit more water. And then I'm going to let her frost it and decorate it with some sprinkles. Um, I think I've done like three or four of those laundry done. today. Oh. We're going to have to change before the gym. What? Show oh them your legs. Okay. Good thing I did laundry. Don't get it on mom. I know. What the heck? This is too quick. It's yeah, it's to make the frosting. This one is your face. Just... That one is vanilla. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more water to this one. Do you need a little more water? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me just I'm add okay. just a little bit. I'm glad all the stickers are on the couch. Okay. Hold on. Stand back, Jax, because I don't want you stepping in that. All right, what do you want to go on first? So there's gonna be frosting between the two cake layers and one on top. What frosting do you want on the top of the cake? The pink or the white? Vanilla. Okay, so can that I, means, here. Can I mix this? No, not till we're done. Then when we're done, you can, okay? So what that means is you get to take the knife and spread this pink frosting all over the red layer of cake, okay? Only on this one, because the vanilla is gonna go on the other. Sorry, I'm like right in the way, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's a little butter knife. And, oh wait, I got a different butter I got for you. So spread the pink frosting over that layer. And then I'll put the vanilla on this one after you spread it all out. We'll stack the cake up. And then Such we will cut it. And then we will be all done and okay. then eat and then Good be job. done. Um, can I lick it? Sure. After eat it, we need to go to the gym. And then we're gonna layer it with the strawberry layer. And then more. And then I have a different no. knife for the vanilla frosting. Oh, this is just rolling right off the top. Okay, here's your knife for the vanilla. Can I taste it? Hold on. After. Oh, it's just running down. Yeah. That's okay, that's why we put it on a plate. Watch your head. I think I'm losing Actually, I'll open this. All right, so then, now we have the sprinkles. So you get to decorate it and you guys will be ready to eat it. So here's all the sprinkles. And it's perfect. We should have done this for Valentine's Day. There are a bunch of hearts. Yeah, we see the cake so far. Uh, the cake looks good. So, Annie, do you want it cut into, let me show you, into bars or squares? Bars. Yes. Bars. 
Bars, because we get more, Annie. Because it's there in bars. That looks actually looks good, right, Jackson? I think these guys are a little excited. <laughs> Does it look good, Jax? Does it look good, Jax? Yeah. That looks like a smiley face. Yeah. All right, go sit down and I'll bring you. That's she can put all the sprinkles on. Okay, so Annie made a cake, everybody. It looks good. All right, go to the table, Aniston, and I'll get you a plate. Or the, or the bar. Yeah, the bar's fine. Okay, so. But the dishwasher's clean. Please, can I eat? No, let's not fight. All right, guys. I'm just going to cut this into three pieces so they can each have a piece. What do you guys tell Aniston for baking you a cake? Columbus is the capital of Ohio. That was not bad. You're the only dog. Mom, I know a pink one. A pink one? Hold on, there's a. Yeah, more frosting on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So let's taste it. Here's her cake. Taste. All right, let's let them do a taste test. I shouldn't Go ahead, taste test time. It's good. It's mm -hmm. good? Yeah, real good. And you need help? Do you want me to cut it for you, Aniston? You want me to cut it, babe? Here, let me help. Oh, you got it? I like the combination How does it of taste? strawberry and red velvet. Mm. Oh, yeah? Two-layer cake? Good job. All right. So they are going to have their cake, maybe have a go-gurt or something or some fruit, and then we are going to leave for the gym in a little while. It's only 3.17. We'll Two probably hours. leave here about 5. So I'm going to get a few more things done around the house, but she wanted to show you guys her cake. Um, I considered going over to my parents' house for a little bit first, but we'll see. I've got to wait till at least my laundry and the dryer's done. So if we decide to go over there, we'll hang out for a little bit before my class. If not, we'll just stay home and get some things done. But it's been a nice chill day, huh, guys? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, what do you give this on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best? 7 and a half. 7 and a half? 20. 20. <clears throat> One hundred million. Oh wow! One hundred million. All right, I guess you did a good it's job, Anderson. There's more flavor in it. No, I like it better. All right, guys, we'll be back later. That was fun. Okay, so what did you think of the gym? I liked it. Played basketball. <laughs> Cohen's mad. We have to leave. Aniston. What? Did you have fun? Yeah. What did you do? Play in the play area. Yeah. I took a circle. Yeah, you can take the cigar off. The bounce house? Uh -huh. What? <laughs> Babe, you were there for over an hour. That's a long time. We'll come back tomorrow. I think it's safe to say that your brother had fun and didn't want to leave because he's crying now. Yeah. No, and we're not going to the movie today. We're going to go home and I'm going to make dinner. So I did my first cycling class and it kicked my butt. It was a really good workout. But as fun. you can see, yeah. As you can see, Cohen is upset. He didn't want to leave. Um, I like it. Dinner, can we go to the movie? Get off the car. Okay, go get in. Um, no, the instructor was the awesome. The music was great. It was so much fun. It was a really good workout. I think I burned like 500 calories. So we are gonna go home now. I'm gonna call Chris. He's hopefully home, and we're going to go home and have dinner. I'm gonna make some salmon, broccoli, and probably a salad to go with it. So we are heading home. Come on, Cohen. He Mom, loves coming. That was like a small, another minute or so. Mom, he told me that I need to work out more because he wasn't ready to leave. Because you need to work out longer. So, all right, guys. Oh, did my keys just break? Yeah, look. Oh, no, they didn't. Sorry. Okay. We're going to be coming back tomorrow. All right, guys. I will check back in when we get home. Wish me luck. All right, guys, we got home from the gym. Chris is still at his work meeting. So I decided I was not going to cook dinner this late if he was not going to be eating. So I made the kids something really quick. I made myself this giant chicken salad. Like <laughs> this thing is huge. It has hard boiled eggs. It has tomatoes, cucumbers, green onions, avocado, mushrooms, and grilled chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this because I'm absolutely starving and I'm going to drink a diet green tea citrus as a treat. So I'm gonna eat this, the kids are hanging out, they're gonna watch a movie and we're just gonna kind of relax. Um, I'm gonna use all of this stuff and make Chris a salad for work tomorrow. 
and then I'm just gonna hang out for the rest of the night. So thank you for coming along with us today. It was kind of a boring day, but it just gives you a glimpse in a day in our life. So thanks again, guys.